What is going on guys? Joel here back with another video and today's actually a pretty exciting video for a lot of iOS users and especially those people that like to jailbreak. Today they actually released an iOS 7.1 to iOS 7.1.1 untethered jailbreak and this is not from your ordinary uh, jailbreak developers. It actually is from a Chinese team that's new to the jailbreak game and they are known as Pengu or at least that is what the jailbreak tool is called. Now with this new jailbreak tool, you'll be able to jailbreak iPhone 4, 4S, the iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, the iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad 2, iPad 3, and 4, also the iPad Air, and the iPad mini along with the iPad mini with retina display. So basically any device that's running 7.1 all the way up to 7.1.1 is able to be jailbroken and of course it's untethered. Now this is 100% working uh, for those of you kind of curious, uh, but there are some things uh, to be aware of and be cautious about before we do start. So I wanted to make you guys this video for those of you that have been asking me on Twitter and everything. And if you're not following me on Twitter, Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and all those social networks so you'll be up to date on the latest news, whether it be an iPhone, iOS, or other tech stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll have to go over to pengu.io where you're going to download the software. Now, currently, this is available on only Windows, but it will be available for Mac. That is actually right now currently in development. Uh, so right now, it's only available for Windows. I'll leave the description updated if there is a version for Mac available. Uh, so do stay tuned in the future and also follow me on social networks and I'll uh, release the news when that is available. So what we need to do is go ahead and download the Windows version because like I said, it's only available on Windows at the moment. And once you download that, uh, I already have mine downloaded, head over to iTunes, be sure to back up your device. Uh, that is like something I can't stress enough. Always back up your device before doing any type of jailbreak or any updating or anything like that. That way you can always restore from backup if anything goes wrong. Uh, but I didn't have anything go wrong, so you shouldn't either if you follow the steps correctly. So after you're done backing up your device, go ahead and close out iTunes. And we'll go ahead and also open up Pangu, which is going to be right here. And I'm doing this on Windows, of course. Now once you open that up, go ahead and connect your device. My device is already connected. And right up here it does say iPod. I'm doing this on an iPod Touch. And just before we do go on, I want to verify and clarify that I am running uh, iOS 7.1.1 on my device. As you see here, it says 7.1.1 and there is no jailbreak available until now, until Pangu. Now when you open up the jailbreak tool here, uh, of course there's a lot of question marks and question marks and that is because it's in a different language. Now before we do anything as far as jailbreaking, be sure to uncheck this little option here. And the reason why we uncheck this is because there is an application that gets installed on your device and that and that application is a Chinese like pirated application so we don't want that and also with that pirated application it also installs another thing and that is called PP Sync which is a Chinese version of App Sync and with this Chinese version of App Sync uh, called PP Sync it is actually extremely buggy and also it will affect your iOS device causing many, many issues. Uh, so I can't stress it enough how important this is, this step right here. So do have this unchecked because you'll be running into a lot of problems in the future as well as causing corruption on your system application and that's meaning your stock apps. After that, you simply hit the jailbreak button which is going to be this right here. And once you hit that, it's going to tell us to go into our settings on our device and we're going to go ahead and go into general and then we're going to go down to date and time and we're going to uncheck this set automatically and the reason why is because we need to change the date and the date that it tells us to put it on is going to be June 2nd. So be sure to put it to June 2nd and it doesn't matter the time uh, just as long as you have June 2nd right there and I was about to put June 3rd. Good thing I would check that. But June 2nd guys and once you do that all you got to do is go back and then we'll head over to the right and now as you see here it says Pangu and you'll see the progress on the actual application on your computer. Uh, it will go after you set the time to June 2nd and then we'll go ahead and open up the Pangu application on your device and then it's going to say are you sure to open. Uh, we're going to hit continue. Once you hit continue all you got to do is sit back and relax and it's going to do it all by itself. 
Now this part of the process is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward with the magic of video. Now if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm gonna leave a full guide on how to do this on my website, jbtech17.com. I'll leave a link down below. You can head over there and I'll have a link to Pangu and all that good stuff on there. So go ahead and check out the website and also let me know what you think about it. Now that whole process took about like five to 10 minutes. And once it is done, we can go ahead and unlock our device right here. And then we'll head over to the right. And you do see that Cydia is now installed on the device. So now it's gonna prepare the file system. Go ahead and open up Cydia. And this part will actually take a couple minutes as well. Now once that is done, we'll simply unlock our device and we'll head back over to Cydia and go ahead and tap to open up. And then now you will see Cydia. So welcome to Cydia. And I can assure you that this is working. And you see down here, it does say iOS 7.1.1 and you are now jailbroken. But other than that, you are officially jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. And let me know in the comments below if you are now jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1. As always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or Instagram, all of my links are down below in the description as always. Go ahead and follow me on those for future updates and all that good stuff. Uh, and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos like this and other techie videos as well. But thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right, peace.